I believe I have found the problem, and it lies in this mangled area here, specifically this super mangled bit. That is a 4.7 ohm resistor, or supposed to be. So in the circuit, between driver and output transistor, there's a 4.7 ohm resistor, two per channel. And these are relatively high power resistors. Somebody has obviously been here before, and that re resistor must have previously failed, and they took it out and mangled the board in the process. Probably kind of cooked anyway. But they stuck in a, what looks to be a standard sort of half watt uh, where is it? Sorry, I can't get my thing to tilt over all the way. All right, see that purple and yellow down there? Looks like a standard half watt resistor. Now, if you look at the other one, it's a gray, sort of fusible. And then for the other channel, they've got these fiberglass sleeves on them because they're right next to the plastic tubing around all those wires. And they must get hot. So I measured the resistance between the ends of the leads there for that one, and it's like 20K. So if you put 20K instead of 4.7 in series with a signal, remember the issue was that the uh, it was fine unloaded but that's when it doesn't have to supply any current once you got to supply current you put a bunch of current through a resistor and you drop voltage and if it's a big resistor and you try to put a bunch of current through it then you drop a bunch of voltage and when you go from 4.7 ohms to 20,000 ohms, you essentially flatline it. And that's what we were seeing. So it makes total sense, having seen it, after, of course, replacing a bunch of diodes and transistors. And, oh my god, you know. Yeah, makes total sense. Duh. I mean, duh. It's always duh once you figure it out. Ciao.